scene. How the hell are you going to tell them about my movie? You, you, you didn't even ask me if you could do that. You didn't even get permission to talk about my movie. I'm sorry, bro. Look, man, your movie is on every streaming service. I mean, okay, not every streaming service. I mean, a lot of the times I have to go to illegal websites to watch it and I'm not paying for it. But th that's besides the point, bro. And half the time when I go watch your movies, I have to use a VPN. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is, bro, it, it's accessible, you know? Like, what was I supposed to do? Come and write you a letter or send you a postcard or something? No, that, that is bull bullshit. And then you have the nerve to get on this video and do this this fucking Asian accent. That did send you. You are clearly, clearly racist. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have rush hour, okay? Jackie Chan and, and, and Chris Tucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? They they they, they fuck with each other, bro. So so. So why the hate? I'm just saying. Okay, you bring up a good point. Rush Hour 2 is one of my favorite movies of all time. But anyway, Sin, listen, this is the finale, okay? After this, a man is going to die. He has cancer in this movie. Damn, bro, this the finale? Well, there is like two other movies that came out after this. And you know, if they get this video to at least, you know, 4,000 likes, I'll cover those too. But you know, that's besides the point. Sin, just tell them about the fucking movie. I, 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 I'm tired of that shit. You, you always plugging your shit like, like you made a Patreon. You, you made a new Patreon. The link in description and, and, and pinned comment. And, and thank you to all the Patreons. These people right here. Thank you all for, for, for supporting him. You know, you get cool perks like uncensored videos. Wait wait a minute. Did, didn't you just plug my Patreon? Right, anyways, man, we're here to talk about It Man 4. And I'm not going to hold you, bro. This movie is some gas. Last movie, we saw my man It Man facing off against Mike Tyson, bro. A bit of Vander Holyfield's ear off. You know what I mean? And uh, it spit it out. You know, that I found out is a convicted rapist. Oh, bro, I, I found that out recently about Mike Tyson. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I had no idea that that man did that. Then I started thinking about who Mike Tyson is as a person and he owned a tiger. So, I mean, I'm not putting anything past him. I, I'm just being honest. But yeah, the sad news about this movie is that our beloved friend, it man, has cancer. He's dying. But he has a son who he's gonna maybe teach Kung Fu. Or wait, I believe that is like Wing Chun. I, I don't know, man. That doesn't matter, bro. But anyways, what the fuck is this black ass dude right here? Bro came running into it, man's dojo. Oh, hip. I'm glad that I found you. My name is Stretch from NBA Street Volume Volume Two. Oh, Stretch, the Afro, Julius Irving. Oh shit, Julius Irving. I love your movies. You, 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 you in that one movie? Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Are, you're not in the movie uh, basketball. You play, you play hooping. You hoop. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, anyways, bro. So uh, Bruce Lee wants you to come to America, bro. To me to America? Oh, I don't know about that. that America kind of scary. I mean, you, you guys have coronavirus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your COVID started in China. Y'all was outside with transformer trucks. Bleaching your whole entire alleyways. Okay, you make a good and compelling argument. Uh, I, I would think about it, but uh, I don't know. But for now, tell him I, I don't have time. So my man, it man told Julius Irving head ass that he didn't have time to go to America, which is bullshit because he's got all the time in the world. Well, maybe not all the time in the world, you know, because, well, he has cancer now, but, but that's besides the point, bro. My man, it man said that he didn't have time, but he's going to change his mind. Just wait on it. Anyways, his son is in school getting in fights over dumb shit. Look at this right here, bro. His son ain't here getting in fights over books. Bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. If my son was getting in a fight over a franken book, bro, my fucking in there boxing, talk him out. Now give me my fucking book back. Where does my boy? Get your whole ass off me, man. Damn, he punching me hard as shit right now. He punching me over a fucking comic book. Hey, this Miles Morales, man. Stop playing. Yo, give me my fucking comic book back. Man, get this dude off of me. He crazy as hell. Go fight me over some mid-ass literature. Man, hey, man. kind of ass with that. Give me my so after his son gets in the fight, bro, it pulls up to the school and he's trying to find out what's going on with his boy. I'm not gonna lie to you, it. Your son, he's getting in fights over Frank and Miles Morales books, man. Bro, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. And I should know because I look for some reason like Stan Lee, but Asian. I, I Oh my God, you kind of do look like Stan Lee a little bit. Rest in peace to Stan Lee. You in here with these fucking glasses on looking like a dork? Son, son, where are you going? And I'm a fucking face, dad. Let me read my fucking books. So it man goes home and he's telling his son that he's about to go to America. Y'all know that fat ass nigga, bro. I forgot his name. The cop guy, Mr. Bauer. Bauer. 
Ching. I think his name is Ching, actually. It doesn't really matter. He comes in, he starts drinking with this man. So if telling him, look, I need you to look after my son and all that, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to call home to Hong Kong every day around 9 p.m., you know what I'm saying? So his son is mad as shit. Son, like, I'm not doing a f***ing in America. I don't want to go to school, man. I don't want to study. I want to learn how to fight. I'm going to be a big, strong man like you, and I'm going to beat people up and, and, and show them like martial arts is awesome. Son, I'm going to be honest with you. You are not going to do that. You need to go to school. You have no hands. No hands at all. Like, look, look, look at you. You're f***ing frail. Like, what are you, what are you, you're falling off to nothing. You look like a rubber band in a Slim Jim had a oh my baby. God. So his son gets mad at him for talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? His son mad as shit. I'm not going, fuck the bitch. You don't just fuck, bam. This man, man slapped the shit out of his son, bro. I don't blame him. Keep it a band. So anyways, it man decides to go to motherfucking America. Just like, you know, he said he wasn't at the time but you know anyway he decided to go so he goes to go talk to the masters that's in america bro and they're letting him know things are a little different here and they don't f with this bruce lee dude oh hello masters how are you doing today man, man we're here to talk to you about fucking bruce lee man i mean i'm not gonna lie that nigga bruce lee got hands you know what i'm saying he probably could beat our fucking ass you know what i'm saying like he really going fucking crazy but i don't fuck with him he didn't even doing all that stupid ass shit. One inch punch, doing push ups off his fingers like a prison inmate. Not Quack. fucking with this. Then he gonna make a book. Motherfucking Quack. book trying to teach Westerners how to do martial arts. Hey, this shit, motherfucking Quack. sweet it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fucking with Bruce Lee. Fucking weird ass. Quack. The man trying to teach all these American Quack. shit. What is wrong with teaching Westerners? I mean, at the end of the day, it's a lot of money over here. I mean, you teach them one thing, they, they give you money for it. Over there, you teach somebody something, bro. They give you a bag of rice. I don't want that. Shit. What the Quack. fuck am I going to do with the eat this? Shit? I have enough rice at home. I need money on. I mean, I mean, I do need money on too. I, that's besides the point. Master Finn, I think his name is Finn. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I forgot the bro name, bro. But anyways, he got a cool ass haircut. I'm gonna keep it a band. So they end up getting fighting, bro, over this like glass panel. They start pushing it back and forth, and shit. he ends up cracking it. So whole time, Master Ip is coming here trying to get a recommendation letter for his kid. He needs it so he can go to school there. But nobody trying to fuck with him, bro. One of the white dudes there wasn't fucking with him. Caught him an illegal alien on some racist shit. Out of pocket. I ain't gonna hold you. And then the other girl at the school, when he went and talked to her, talking about, oh, well, if you donate $10,000, like, you think I just got $10,000? USD? The f I'm gonna keep it a band, bro. I got 10 bands, just like, yo, that was funny. Yo, keep it a band. Niggas ain't got 10 bands. All right, I ain't gonna hold you. Anyways, if my f don't die, just $10,000 just to give somebody, especially send my smart kid to school, especially a racist ass school. You want me to pay you $10,000? So people can call my fucking son the N-word. I mean, they're not gonna call him the N-word cause, cause he won't be my son and he won't be black, but like, they, they gonna call him some, some fucking Asian slur. I don't know what they call Asians as far as slurs, but they gonna say it. Anyways, back at this karate fucking showing, bro. Bruce Lee showing everybody his one inch punch, you know what I'm saying? His one inch meat. All right, my fault, that was crazy. And Bruce Lee ends up getting in a fight. You see these guys that was there feel like his Kung Fu was some bullshit. I keep saying Kung Fu, my fault. His martial arts is some bullshit, right? So they come in, they talking heavy to his students hey what's up with you guys <laughs> yeah i think your martial arts is mass who the Quack. fuck is he yo bruce lee is he talking to you yo master hold on man i, I gotta go handle this real quick because i know this Quack. not talking to me like that so bruce lee walk over bro three dudes so he tell them all to come in yo he like what's up Whoa, bang, 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 bang. hit him with three roundhouse kicks so then his motherfucking master they in the alleyway he talking about come over here then he hit this door this Quack. bruce lee talking heavy he like the door won't fight back but i will so bro come in he's straight kicking him bam kick this ass got his back to a brick wall at this point hold on this my nunchucks on this fucking waist oh this they're going crazy think he a ninja turtle so he hop up bro again hmm, get kicked again Bruce Lee is just weave, nigga, nigga. Now his face all red, bro, like a fucking cherry tomato. So he do an arm sweep. He throw Bruce Lee down. Bruce Lee jump off the wall, hit him with a two piece, big, big. So bro get the motherfucking nunchucks out at this point. He like, man, fuck that, bro. He start trying to hit Bruce Lee with the nunchucks. Bruce Lee take them shits, bro, and do some Mortal Kombat with him. Oh, da, 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 da. like he Luke King. So the white dude pick a fucking pole up, bro. I fuck out here moving like a plumber right now, bro. Where you get this pipe from, Paul? Bro, he got his ass beat so bad that he looked at Bruce Lee and gave him a thumbs up. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Could have never happened to me, bro. I would have never did that. So anyways, after this, Master Ip goes to go, you know what I'm saying, talk to the girl that told him he need 10 bands so his kid can go to school. Some bullshit. And this girl right here 
is you remember that master with the smooth ass haircut? I think his name is Master Finn or Fang or whatever the fuck his name is, bro. I might be saying Fang because I'm thinking of Tekken 8. I'm tired of fighting Fangs. But anyways, this bitch is nice at cheerleading and she ended up getting the top spot. You know what I'm saying? So the white girl mad about it. I can't believe that this fucking yellow Asian bitch is going to get this spot over me. I mean, I'm just saying, I, I feel like you didn't have to call her yellow. I mean, that's kind of racist. Bitch, you want to be next? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying. So they see this motherfucker. Girl, bro, she walk up. White girl, like, you think you look cool in here? You fucking yellow, big bird looking, corn on the cob looking. Bro, started calling her all types of yellow shit. I'm like, oh, that's fucked up. So she tried to leave, but they end up jumping her, bro, dudes and all. They grab her and yoke her ass up, put her to the fence. They start smacking the fuck out of her. Biggie, biggie, biggie. So idiot, he like, what the fuck? Oh, they gonna beat her ass over here? You think shit sweet? So he go over there, but what the f are you guys doing? Are you cutting her hair off or what the fuck? You giving her a fucked up haircut like she going to sports clips? So he go, he start beating these niggas up, bro. He not even really beating them up bad. He just scaring them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Grabbing their ears, giving them a little ear twist, smacking them with a hockey stick like they in that one movie, Mighty Ducks. And he ends up saving her. He also gave her an actual decent haircut like this to work at a salon or something, bro. Sports clips can never, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. I would never take my girl to Sally's. I'm just saying. So the white girl, she crying, talking about <laughs> the Chinese girl beat me up. So they end up calling her dad. Her dad is, I guess he's a police officer or something. I ain't going to hold you, bro. That don't really matter yet, but it will later. Stay tuned. So anyways, after they take the daughter home, bro, we find out her dad is super strict and a big dickhead, bro. Motherfucking mad. And it still need this recommendation letter. So he like, all right, fuck it. I'll give it to you. Let's have a match. They get the squaring off. Motherfucking it kind of going crazy. They first they matching each other. I'm not going to lie, bro. A bunch of, bro, these motherfuckers is punching and defending at the same time, bro. They're kind of going crazy. I'm not going to lie. This man, it man, he jumped on the table that bro kicked at him. He's like, yo, stop playing. It's like, man, stop playing with me, bitch. So we go over there to him. They start boxing again, bro. I'm talking kicks, punches, elbows. Motherfucker got hit, bro, in a wound. You know what I'm saying? So he put the arm back. He like, all right, what's up? You got a wound on your shit? We can one arm it. So they one arm fighting each other, bro. This man Ip said, yeah, bitch ass nigga. Oh, hold on. You gonna throw me into a pole, bitch? Bro threw him into a pole like Magic City in Atlanta. Hold on. Damn. So they kick each other. They both twist and fall, bro. So they stand back up. They kind of even at this point going in with one hand and one leg, I guess, too. So he about to finish him off with the kick. He grab him. He like, man, stop playing. So then they end up on the table. These niggas is boxing with one arm again. It's like two shanks is fighting right now, bro. This shit kind of crazy. Hold on. What the Quack. fuck is that? Everything in the house starts shaking. And I'm like, yo, oh, hell no. Nah. What is that? Whole time they in California, bro. So it's an earthquake. You know what I'm saying? They be having hella earthquakes in Cali, bro. That should be out of fucking pocket. I ain't gonna lie. California one earthquake away from being an island, bro. Y'all gotta be safe out there. So it start talking heavy to him, bro. He like, look, man, win or lose, it don't matter, bro. You know what I'm saying? We should be using our martial arts to bring people together. You know what I'm saying? To fight back. Master Finn, he looking at him. He like, man, fuck it. I guess he is kind of right. But at the same time, I'm not going to tell him that. You know what I'm saying? But this man, it man, is thinking about how we slapped this kid in the mouth, bro. Like a goddamn old pimp. He go home, he call this kid again, he don't answer, bro. But over at the Marines, we find out that, oh my God, is this instructor beating the shit out of this black dude? Yo, bro said, I don't care about your color of your skin. I don't hate you because you're black. I hate you because you're a fucking pussy. Yo, that's insane. Imagine a dude telling you like, hey, I am racist, but I'm not being racist towards you because, you know, you're black. I'm being racist towards you because you're a big pussy, bro. You're Garfield, bro. That shit is embarrassing. Anyways, this dude right here wants to teach Bruce Lee's martial arts, but the sergeant is not hearing that shit. He's like, man, soft ass nigga, we not teaching this shit here, man. You want to teach that sissy ass motherfucking martial arts? I tell you what, bro, if you can beat the instructor, then we'll use your pussy ass martial arts. All right, how about that? So he get to fight in the instructor. I'm not going to hold you. The instructor kind of big, though. The instructor start putting that pain in on him. Me, me, me. Started beating the shit out of him. Had him looking kind of crazy. I ain't going to lie. After beating bro up with the buzz cut, I realized, you know what I'm saying, that it's just a weight class discrepancy, bro. If they was a little bit bigger, they might have been able to do something, but they can't. He goes behind that nigga's back to a superior, bro, and he ends up getting the martial arts used anyway. So he has to go to this little festival shit so he can videotape it. You know what I'm saying? The instructor mad, though. The sergeant goes and tells him what happened. He's like, all right, bet, I'm going to show up. That's exactly what he did. 
And as bro was recording everything, this motherfucking white instructor show up, mad as shit, start breaking bricks. I'm talking about breaking bricks down like Rose in 2006, nigga. Bro was breaking bricks like Young Jeezy. So he ends up fighting all the masters, bro. He starts beating the shit out of all of them at first. First dude step up. Y'all remember him from It Man 2, I think. Man, he got punished. Me, oh, me. Other dude step in with the salt and pepper hair, bro. Salt and pepper's hair to land on his hair. This motherfucking hair was black and white, bro. Shit kind of crazy, man. But anyways, this just come up, bro. Now it's a lady fighting and she did better than it because I ain't gonna hold you. She was putting in pain, but then she got pain putting on her, bro. This just punching her in the chest so hard. She got breast cancer now. I'm not gonna hold you. So it man jump in. He like, man, that. You think that you are fly? Cause you're big and shit. No, that. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. You're not even nice like that. So this man, it man, get the start hitting him with the machine gun punches. Bro, get up. Hit him with a sweep. This man, it about to hit him in his fucking neck, bro, with a clean joint. He, ha, ha, big, big, boom, hit his oh ass in the God. chest. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, was holding his ribs. He, it man, broke this ribs with one punch. Me personally, I wouldn't let that happen to me, bro. Nigga not punching me like that. So after the white dude coming back, you know what I'm saying, the cop and blaming everything on the Chinese girl that happened with his daughter, you know what I'm saying, the sergeant mad, he show up and beat all the masters up. He like, that, you know what I'm saying? So Master Finn is like, man, I'ma defend my daughter in our honor, you know what I'm saying? So they pull up to the goddamn base. I'm like, all right, they about to put that pain in. Once and for all, a one-on-one -on -one bout, you know what I'm saying, to prove who's better, white or Chinese. I mean, that's not really what it was about, but you know, it don't matter. So he ends up hitting this dude with a fucking arm sweep. I'm not gonna lie, bro. At first, it looked like Master Finn was about to put that shit in, yo, that pain. But then he started getting fucked up. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Got up and started beating the fuck out of that dude. Bro, did he just hit him with a one-arm drop kick? Oh, this is fighting like Kano from Mortal Kombat. I think he jacks. Oh my God, y'all seen the sweep into the chest kick? Oh yeah. Yeah, he must have taught the instructor everything he knew because he fighting way better than him. Muff fighting like Gao from Street Fighter. Oh, oh my God. Why he hit him with a right hook like that? So bro hitting him with elbows at this point too, bro. He tried to stomp on him. Luckily, bro rolled out of the way. He would have been minced me after that big ass stomp. I ain't gonna lie. So they still fighting. Man, that's the finish. Like, man, fuck that. Bro. I'm about to put these motherfucking beats on him. And then he got a fucking suplex, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I hit him with the belly to belly suplex. Now both sides is red. Bro face looking crazy like a strawberry Laffy Taffy. So bro come in with the big boot. He go, huh? Weave, do a twist, grab his leg. But bro not playing that. The sergeant came and broke this nigga's leg, bro. Look at how his leg is moving right now. His shit definitely jello. He can't even stand on it. He like, man, if you get up, nigga, I'm gonna beat your ass. And the crowd was like, yo, why are you saying, nigga, you white as hell? Who gonna stop me? Bro sounded like I show speed right now. So he beat bro up. Bro on the ground looking crazy. I'm not gonna lie. It man find out about what happened. He mad as shit. He like, nah, f that, bro. You're not gonna do my mans like that. So we call home. Him and his son had this old sentimental ass talk. Son, I know that I slapped you in the face, but I just want to say that I am sorry, okay? I did not mean to do that to you. You know that I love you, son. You know what I'm saying? Everything, you know what I mean? I, 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 I sorry I slapped you like that. It's, it's not what I meant to do. I just, you was being a big bitch, you know? His son over there like. <laughs> nah, dad, I feel you. You know what I mean? Like, but you ain't have to. <laughs> We have to do that though, you know what I'm saying? Like that's gotta f up. You feel me? But I mean, I know when you slap me, you slap the taste out of my mouth. I couldn't even taste food for three days. God damn. But him and his son make up, bro, and everything is fine. So my man, it like f that. You know what I'm saying? He show up to have one final bout with this whole ass nigga. So we get to fighting him, bro. Hold on, come here. <clears throat> Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. He started slamming the shit out of it, bro. Kneeing him. It said, come here, bitch. Boom, hit him in his eye. It already bleeding out his mouth, though. I ain't gonna lie, bro. And he got cancer, so you already know he kind of hurting right now. Bro said, come here. He go, D -d 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 -d. machine gun punches to the motherfucking sternum. His hand is hurting, though, bro. And bro, see that his hand is hurting. And he's trying to take advantage of that. So he go to keep hitting that same arm. He like, bro, this is cheating, bro. So with this man, he pick it man up. Throw him on the ground, start kicking him in his fucking stomach. I know his motherfucking stomach hurt right now, bro. He shouldn't have ate that Taco Bell yesterday. Bro ate a chalupa. His stomach is churning right now. So this man, it man on the ground. He's obviously injured. You know what I'm saying? He coughing and shit, but he like, nah, f*** that. He's staying back up to fight, bro, again. Bro throwing all types of roundhouse kicks, but it man started countering him. Come here, make, make, knee, 
He tried to twist him. He grabbed his neck, throw him down. <laughs> Started punching him on the back of his fucking head and shit. Bro, twist him down. He get on top, start punching. Hold on, get on top, pause. So he start to punching this man. It, it, grab his hand. Meek, meek, hit him, make him do a fucking split and then punch him in his eye. Damn, bro, I bleeding. So he knee him in the neck. This dude said, fuck that. Guy was not playing with this shit, bro. So bro hit him in the nuts, grab his arm, break that shit. They hit him dead in the fucking throat. Bro, he hit him in his windpipe, bro. He can't even breathe right now. He on the ground. <laughs> Bro's going down. Bad. I'm not going to hold you, bro. Me personally, want to let that shit happen to me, bro. I'm just saying. Bro looking terrible right now. Yo, you good? The hell no, I ain't fucking good. And just like that, bro, they give my man Ip a standing ovation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I said ovation. Standing ovation. <laughs> So it go home, he get to teaching the son everything he knows. And that's everything that happened to It Man 4. You know what I'm saying? If y'all like this content, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and let me know your favorite part of the video. Also, comment down below and let me know what video you want to see next. And if you want more content like that, make sure you check my channel out, man. I did all the other three It Man movies. And once again, I got that Patreon. Thank y'all to all the patrons. The link will be in the comments and description. Until next time. Peace.